Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to fix out the issue with Hogwarts Legacy where it is started to crash or you are getting a blue screen while playing the play button in your Steam app. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. First of all, head over to this PC, C drive, program files, x86, Steam folder and open here Steam apps, common, Hogwarts Legacy. Phoenix, Binaries, Win64 and here you will find HogwartsLegacy.exe file. You need to right click on it and choose the option properties. From the compatibility tab, check mark the option run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and ok button. Now go ahead and run from this file your Hogwarts Legacy to fix out crashing issue in your game. Next is Head over to settings menu, choose windows update and make sure if any update is pending, you click on the option download and install to make sure your windows is up to date. If this failed to work out, let's proceed with the second step. There is a simple fix, open up your NVIDIA control panel and click on manage CD settings. From here, you will find the option of shader cache size. Go ahead, if it is more than 10 GB, reduce it to 10 GB. So make sure. Your shader cache size should be 10 GB. Go ahead and then play your game of Hogwarts Legacy to fix out the crashing issue. If this also fails, click on the start menu and type advanced system settings and open the first application. Now in the advanced tab, under the performance, click on the option settings. Now again, hit advanced tab and click on the option change under virtual memory. Now uncheck the option automatically manage paging file size. Now whichever drive your game is installed, C, D or E, select that particular drive and click on the option custom size. And under the initial size, make sure you type in the exact RAM available in your PC. For example, if you have a 4 GB RAM, so I will type 4000, which is 4 GB in MB because total available RAM in my system is 4 GB. In the maximum size, Type in 4 times the available RAM. So again, if 4 GB is available RAM in my PC, I will go ahead and type 16,000, which is my 4 times available RAM. Once it is done, click on the option set. Now it is done, hit the OK button. Now it is asking to restart your PC. So make sure you restart your PC after doing these changes. Now make sure to restart your PC to fix out the issue of Hogwarts Legacy crashing on PC or black screen while launching from Steam. Now if this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here percentage, local app data percentage and hit the enter key. First of all, click on the view tab. Under the show option, make sure you check mark the option hidden files. Now open. Hogwarts Legacy folder, save, config, windows no editor and here find a file with the name game user setting. Right click and choose the option open with notepad. Here you need to do few changes with this file. From here make sure ray tracing shadow must be false, ray tracing reflections must be false and ray tracing A0 must be false. If any of the option is true, like this, go ahead and delete and type the false over here. Nextly is, in the end, you need to add a text, upscale mode. This text I will share you in the description of this video. Copy and paste the text right over here. Then hit the file menu and choose option save. Now close it. Now nextly is, engine.ini file. Again right click and choose the option open with notepad. Scroll to the last and here again you need to add a text. This is the text. Go ahead copy this text from the description of this video. Paste right over here by pressing the control V button. Once pasted, hit the file menu and choose the option save. Now close it, go ahead, restart your PC and this will completely fix out the issue of Hogwarts Legacy crashing on your PC on startup 
or you are getting black screen while playing the game from screen. This is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.